I'm live. Welcome. Hi, everybody. I hear you guys loud and clear. This time works for nobody. <laughs> Being in California at nighttime, everybody's super asleep or super early in the morning. And honestly, I'm not a night owl. So thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you showing up anyways. So, <clears throat> my desk is a little chaotic today. I um, had my sister stop by and I helped um, adjust some clothes for her and I had done some other alterations. I hate alterations. I'm just going to put that on the record. I do not buy things to alter them. <laughs> if I at all can help it. But I'd rather build it from scratch than alteration. Sometimes it really, they're not my favorite. I will do them, but please don't ask me to. You know what I mean? It's not, anyways, enough of that. I did help and it was fun and things turned out great. So I can't complain. Uh, Toby's right here. He has a funky spot now. He asked very nicely for a funky spot because he's kind of gotten used to, he's like, wait, aren't we gonna go down there tonight? So. Welcome, Yonalith. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm going to keep it short today. I really am. I'm just going to get the last of the hand stitching that I wanted to get done on this bodice. And then um, kind of decide. So this is going to be a set. So there's a pair of them. I think salt and pepper kind of a thing. Um, and the other one, there's a few adjustments. It's their sisters, not twins. So there's a few things that I want to make differently. This one, I did really low and open. The other one, I want to do comically high. Anyways, we'll talk about that in a minute. I do want to do want to hand sew this first. Let me thread my needle before we get going. One, two. So how was your guys' weekend? Do anything interesting? I've worked on lots of projects, not this one, but other ones. Yeah. Hold on while I thread this needle live. I can do this. Well, Leonelith, resting's important. All right. So I sewed up the front sections and I have the back section started to be pinned, but I don't have it pinned exactly right. I wanna make sure that I meet up my center backs and then smooth it out and kind of go from there as opposed to working from the sides in. So that is my plan for today. Let me wax this thread. If it didn't make such a big deal, I wouldn't care. You know, more steps I can skip, the better. So this side, and there should be one right. Because I left a needle here and I left a needle here. And then you guys can't see that at this angle, can you? Let's see what's going on, what I'm working on. Is that going to work better? Eh, it's something. All right. I have my center backs marked very well. So at least there's that. And my center back here. I feel short at this mannequin at the moment. Hi, Toby. Okay. Just do a couple whip stitches right here so that it's not fun. Right at the center back, just to hold it right in place where that needle was. So I don't have to. Pin 
everything. Ben and Lynch is here, welcome. This is lined up, it just needs to pop off right there. All right, I'm gonna work this way and then I'm gonna work that way just so that I'm pushing the fullness out and it will lay right. I'm just trying not to fight the system. What am I not trying to fight? Well, the grain lines, I'm gonna want this to hold its shape and stick out. Right now I have needles pushing it down, so it's not quite laying the way I patterned it, but if I hand stitch it right, it should just come right together. Gotta get that bunk piece so I can get it there. Okay. I wish I could make this shorter. <laughs> That would be very convenient because I really like it on the body at the moment so that I know I'm getting the right curve. If I put it, take it off and put it in my lap, I risk not. So oh, I totally stabbed myself in the eye before I started. Oh, so my left eye's a little watery. I'm not crying, I promise. I'm trying to get a good angle so I can see what I'm doing, but then, I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to get a good angle, but it's more important this lines up. All right. I threaded these needles way too long, but whatever. You know, it's okay to cry. I know it'll help my eye feel much better, get all the stuff that I put in it out of it. <sighs> uh, I feel short. Oh yeah, this was heel height. I was like, wait, why is it this like height? I know, remember like trying to figure out the height of this mannequin and it was with heels on shoulder height. <laughs> That's really great when I want to hem a dress and know exactly where it's going to end up, but I need a little stool so I can work around it. Oh, well, I'm just going to stitch this up. It's going to be a short night. I'm not going to keep you up too late. I read nighttime is just the time in my day that I've been able to carve out the my schedule to work on this project. Hi, Bruno. How are you doing? Can you say hi? So I'm more of a morning person, honestly. But I can't give you guys warning that I'm going to go live in the mornings because it'll probably just go live. So I'll try that and see how that kind of works out for a while. Um, yeah. Hi, Toby. Here, hang out for now. Okay. Let me see. You guys. Oh, Toby and Bruno are down there in the corner, but that's not really. Oh, well, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, I'm here. You're here. So welcome. Thank you for joining me. You know, are you trying to get more song lyrics stuck in my head? Huh. 
Yes, I am. And you're welcome, LOL. <sighs> okay. I want to make sure that I catch this under layer. <laughs> just as much as I catch everything else so that it lines up. Ben and Lynch, it's almost six in Ireland, so it's morning for me. Well, I'm glad that it's not super late at night for you. Would early mornings here in California be any better in Ireland? That's a weird question, but I'm very curious. You know, if we had sushi today and I put ginger into my water and it was so good. Oh, nice. <sighs> I have a love-hate relationship with ginger. I used to really like it because my mom makes really good ginger snaps. But my friend's mom gave me some candied ginger because she really, really likes ginger. And that stuff was a little traumatizing. It was like super strong, like, whoo, that stuff was intense. And then for a while, I couldn't even enjoy um, ginger snap cookies because it was just like that ginger was too much. But I really do like ginger. I genuinely do. It's just, that was intense ginger candy. Just, okay. I'm on tippy toes. <laughs> I'm too short to see my own work, okay? This is high on heels. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't have to apologize. You guys get to see my mistakes. That's how we learn. Everything lining up so nicely just makes me feel very good that this thing's going to work out. <clears throat> I may slide a piece of wire right up in this part. I don't think I'm going to need to. It depends if how it steams. Because I have my steamer. I didn't use it last time, but I have it right here ready to go. I want to steam this collar once I'm done hand stitching it because it'll make it look all cleanly together. All right. I have this needle and thread. Let me just tie it off. Make sure. I'm late to the party. What's the dress going to be worn for? The dress is a commission piece. It is going to be worn for an editorial photo shoot for my friend Raul Gonzo. He asked for a pair of these crazy bodices, one with the skirt, one with kind of up to interpretation at this moment. So it's going to be a set of dresses that have been commissioned. This is the pink one and there's going to be a blue one. 
And yeah, good question. It's for an artsy piece. It'll be fun. I really am enjoying it. Okay, I'm gonna put this needle out of my way. You know, I don't like sweet ginger. I can see that. I genuinely like ginger snaps and I do like gingerbread and I do appreciate ginger on my sushi, but it, it for, for a bit there, I was a little like, I don't know if I want to try ginger <laughs> again, but yeah. Okay. There it is. So I have this seam to finish up in here and it's all pink. And there's a um, intersection right here. So I have to fold under the seam allowance <laughs> while I cross this, this bridge, make sure that I don't screw up when I go to sew that armpit because it's a little tricky to get in there. And I want it to touch as far as I can. all done. I need to steam it, but I really am enjoying the shape. And if I need to really tweak it, I can. All right. Now I have to do this side right up here. It's going a little wonky, but I think it should be fine. <clears throat> Toby seems to be so much happier just sitting right here in his little pile, blanket pile. Not so eager for me to leave now, but yeah. Not tough. Would you be listening to music or watching something while doing this kind of work if you weren't streaming? Both. I like listening to music, especially dance music or something that gets me moving around because then my ideas start just bouncing off the walls. But if I'm sitting and doing a tedious task like hemming or hand sewing, I like listening to um, long form podcasts like um, <laughs> or uh, I like Natalie Lawyer Chick and Emily D. Baker. Like those really long, we're talking about cases and just facts or I'll sit through a lectures. Like I like long, informative things when I'm doing hand sewing and hemming and those tedious tasks. I like really informative things that I can zone in and out of. But when I'm doing different parts of the projects, I prefer music or a little bit of both. So... What do you guys like to listen to when you craft? Ah! Okay. This is why we lock our stitches and don't just rely on a knot at the end because they will pop out. And what is locking the stitches? It's doing two to three stitches in place so that it doesn't just pull out. It locks your stitch in place in your hand sewing. It anchors you. <laughs> Bring you to this podcast. Let's go. Yeah, I know. 
One of my favorite ones is like a cold tea cup of coffee. I love them. Wait, there. That's the YouTube channel. Anyways, all sorts of weird things down the rabbit hole. You know, I because I don't want to look for something. And it's just like, I want something long in the background that I can half listen to, but really that's intriguing and fascinating. But yeah. Yonalith, I'm working on my graphics. I love listening and singing to music so I can go search for reference material. Yeah. Dan does junk. I enjoy listening to the Bob and Tom show. They're hilarious because they're all actual comedians. Right? Sometimes just having people talking in the background. Silence is the worst. <laughs> Bernie Lynch, I catch up on Odin and Felicia streams. <laughs> you know, I used to too. Like, I mean, sometimes I would put on those, but then I cringe and I'm like, oh, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> but when I first started doing it, I was trying to. Okay. Now I'm sewing in the other direction and I had my hand moving. Anyways, excuses, excuses. I'm switching directions in my brain. You know, it depends on what I'm working on because silence can be nice. You guys ever turn down the volume of the radio when you're trying to look for something? I get it. Yeah, no, sometimes, yeah, just a little bit of quiet, but I like background noises. I really do. It helps me. I don't know. <sighs> it's very soothing, I suppose. It gets quiet when I'm doing these live streams because it's just me. And when I'm making progress, it's hard to talk. Oh, this under layer. I need to catch it, otherwise it doesn't lay as nice. And I've lost my little bit. It's... There we go. Okay. It started pushing under and then pulling out because I'm going... To make sure I get all the layers. Nice. Standish Junk says, I listen to that show almost every morning. They play it on the Hawk radio station and then they post the show later on YouTube to watch and listen to. Right? I remember listening to the radio, just talk shows nice to like listen in on conversations yeah it's a little off and I don't want to create a bump so I have to incrementally just make sure I keep it smooth and move on <laughs> Almost past it. Part of me wishes this thing was more sturdy, but I like the flexibility of being able to peek, you know, and wiggle around. Because <laughs> working with the real dress form, real dress forms, but the commercially available dress forms, those things are heavy, They're pretty solid and inflexible. <laughs> but you can move them up and down, which is nice. Okay, I missed part of this conversation. What's going on? You know, when I think of my own demise. Do, do. Bernie Davis, I can't do silence. I get to thinking and I don't like to think. 
right? I can start thinking about too many projects, but a notebook helps me put the ideas down and then they're, my brain has chewed on anyways, but I, I understand getting quiet can get a little too much in my head. Um, Brittany Davis, that's why I try not to let my mind wander too far. <laughs> Can't help it. Um, Dan does junk. I'm kind of actually out of live stream content. The rest of my stuff I want to do are planned videos. Well, good for you. I think you should do planned videos. I think planned videos are a little bit better than live streams. Mm -hmm. Wish I was doing those more, <laughs> but at least, hey, I'm here. We're doing this and I'm enjoying this, bringing you guys along on this project that I'd be doing anyways. Uh, you know, well, if I'm working on something, I go back and forth with the source material so I don't have a chance to let my mind wander. Hmm. Honestly, I chunk up parts of my projects so that my brain um, can really focus on the parts that I have to focus on. And I, I zone out on the parts that I really can zone out on. So like if I'm cutting out, I'll chunk all my cutting together or all my hand stitching or you know what I mean? Like there are stuff where my brain has to do math and I have to think on the project. I'm not necessarily going to be listening to anything that I have to really pay attention to. But when I'm doing the tedious part of a project where it's just the repeated motions over and over again, please give me something to think about that's not just silence. And music can get a little quiet for me too, depending on the music. Like if it's like dancey and peppy, I can, I could do it. But if it's like slow, whoo, that'll put me to sleep. Okay. Ben Lynch, Bernie, if yeah, can keep making and doing stuff. Life's not so bad, right? Maker's gonna make. Uh -huh. Yana, listen, that's why I love making patterns. I absolutely love patterning too. It's like my favorite part of the project. Yana, with math is important, right? Math is very important. Um, but the good thing about math is there's a million ways to get to the same solution, like dividing circles and doing circle math. There's ways you can do it without actually having to divide by pi. So I love that. Um, Hmm. Brittany Davis live streams, I can talk to people and make friends. Yes, I definitely enjoy the company because I like working on projects with friends better than by myself, honestly. If you just sit and talk to me while I work on my project, I'll get so much more work done. You'd think you'd be distracting me, but no, just sit. My sister came over and had me do a bunch of her alterations, but she sat and talked to me, so it didn't feel like a chore. I just did it, figured it out. We had some fun together. I, I don't mind that, but just giving me a whole stack of projects and walking away and I have to do it all by myself. Oh, that's so annoying and lonely and I hate it. Oh, so I definitely prefer crafting with friends. And then your friends also hold you accountable. Aren't we working on this? Yes. Oh, is Bruno acting up? I'm ignoring him probably. Sorry, Bruno. And eggs. To be honest, almost every day I write out my plans on sticky notes, what I can think of, I can work on when I come home from work. I found that really helps me. Oh, that's nice. I switch through all sorts of different organization systems depending on the projects that I'm working on. Here, Bruno, come say hi. Come say hi. No, you don't. All right. Can you chill out for a little bit? Iana loves you. Bernie, give Bruno, Bernie Davis, give Bruno a pups. Cool, a pups, cool. He likes Papa Gino's, that's for sure. 
done with this part and then I can switch to pink. You know, like they're so precious, but where is Spooky? I don't know where Spooky is. He sometimes is staring right at me in a shadow. And other times he's all he knows where I'm at all the time. I don't always know where he's at. He's outside. The doggy door isn't open. That's where Spooky's at. <laughs> it's okay. He likes to be out at this time of day, but after the stream, I definitely have to let him back in. It's 10 o'clock. I've been at this for 30 minutes. I'm not going to stay up that late. I'm not keeping you guys up that late tonight. I'm not. It's just not going to happen. I think I'm really going to try and switch over to mornings. I'm definitely more of a morning person and not a night person. Um, I can't give you a warning that I'm going to go live if I go live in the mornings. So this is my warning. So I'm going to see if I can switch my schedules around because I appreciate that you guys go through the effort to come here and join me while I'm crafting. But I would like, I guess I can make, I can see if I can make it a little more, more convenient and less inconvenient. Big Bad Wolf Custom Airbrushing and Decals, welcome. First time catching you live. Congrats on your awesome channel. Thank you. You know, all honesty, I can wait to do something good or I could just do something anyways. <laughs> so I'm trying to get in the habit of making videos. And then I figured eventually I'll get better at them. So thank you for joining me and supporting me. I do appreciate it. And I appreciate the company. Oh, almost done with this top. You know, I really do like the fabric. There's like a fine line between really expensive, delicate fabrics and really cheap, delicate fabrics and they're all just have their own special needs and I'm loving the color so much that's happening now. It's just a little bit of when this part was pinned, there's a wrinkle, a little bit of excess fullness on the top part compared to the bottom part. So I'm easing this flat. You can see it more because it's a velvet, but it's going around this curve. So I'm meeting up here and just taking a little bit to smoosh it up. Just gotta smoosh it. And be aware of what your end goal is. <coughs> anyway. Uh, it's fun to watch someone getting to work done while I'm procrastinating on my work. <laughs> I love it. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I feel you. <sighs> At least some progress is being made, right? There's a few pieces I'm missing. There it is. Maker's gonna make, but they also gonna put procrastinate. I'm very good at that. But that's why commission pieces and doing things, you know, working for others helps me a lot because it's like, oh, I have to do it. 
I have things that I need, deadlines to meet, but I've been trying to do better about doing my own things. And I made some fun projects I'm pretty proud of, so. But procrastination is my worst enemy. No, I'm my worst enemy, but whatever. Um, you don't know what? My offer still stands if you need help with editing. I'll let you know when I'm there. I appreciate that, Ionala. That's an interesting angle. Huh. I love how cartoony this feels. Like, it really feels real life cartoony. I'm enjoying it. Almost finished. One more inch. And that's usually where you get the mess. It's messed up. I have two needles meeting up at the same place and I haven't finished either one off. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm on the live. One more stitch with this one, and then I'll just tie the two together. The bag wolf airbrush and decals. Man, I would have picked my finger a gazillion times talking and seeing LOL. Yes, tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I have poked my fingers, but I have very tough hands. Um... Bernie Davis, I've always wanted to be a cartoon in a cartoon world. Wear the same clothes every day. No, don't do that. Don't do that. But that's what I always think of when at cartoons. You get your cartoon outfit. It's the same outfit. And you're on a list if you want to college to major in multimedia so I know how to do make graphics and edit videos. Um, awesome. Thank you, Ionalith. Not top, are thimbles still a thing? Yes, they are, and I have a pretty pink one right here. This one's silicone, so it's smooshy. You can squish it. Um, I could use it. <laughs> it's here. But yes, thimbles are still a thing. I'm not bleeding currently. If you do bleed, if you like poke your finger while you're sewing, just FYI, the enzymes in your spit will break down your blood. <laughs> so it will come out better than any like um, sprays or shout. Like I love shout, shout's the best, it's my favorite, but just saying for blood spots, cause that's happened way too many times than I care to mention, your spit works better than other stuff, but it, don't spit on other people's things, okay? If it's making it for you, go ahead and, <laughs> but anyways, shh. But just as, yeah. And then I like super glue. Like if I'm, if I have a poke hole that's just not stopping bleeding, so I just use a little super glue, smoosh it, and then it stops the bleeding because, yes. All right, now I'm gonna take this off of the dress form and I'm going to 
I think I'm going to start with sewing the armpits because those seem a little bit more difficult. But before I do that, I'm just going to thread a couple needles in pink. I have one already done, so I'll do a few more. Uh, you want to live into their group because I knew a lot and could help them. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> you know, the Gorilla Glue does the same thing, but I have liquid bandage and it helps most because one time I sliced my fingertip of liquid. Oh my gosh, that, that one makes me queasy. I can't, but yeah, liquid bandages are, it's basically, I, I, I would use that, but I have super glue for other reasons. And so it's readily available. But yeah, Gorilla Glue, isn't that Gorilla Glue the foaming one? I have a Gorilla Glue glue stick. It depends on the type of glue, but I guess Gorilla Glue Super Glue. The brand or the typical glue that they're famous for, that's my question, because the stuff that they're famous for is foamy and I use it to fix shoes. And I wouldn't put that on my finger if that's just sticky and yucky and I usually can't. It takes a while to come off your hands. Not what I would use, but the super glue, Gorilla Glue brand I would use. But, oh, you have clear Gorilla Glue. All right, different glues. They, are, they have their purposes. They really do. Okay. Interesting. The wrestler, I'm going to butcher this, Sabu or Sabu is covered in scars because he glues his cut shut from all his extreme wrestling shows. Well, does he do it like off? Because I feel like if you do it nice and neat, shouldn't be. Anyways, don't, I'm not a medical professional. Don't ask me about sewing up human flesh. Just, <laughs> you know, not my area of expertise. All right, do this. Has a knot right there, and I'm not gonna fight it, so I'm just gonna cut this thread shorter. That's probably a better length. You don't want to over. You don't have too long of threads on your needles and threads. I know it makes it so you don't have to change it as often, but pulling your thread super long is not worth it. Okay. How am I gonna tack this? Oh, her arm's in the way. Now I have to sew these armpits. So, the lining is already folded over, so the outside fabric I just have to fold and stitch. It's not folding easily. What do I mean by not folding easily? This is a curve. These edges don't want to push down and lay flat. So you, if it was paper, you'd have to do slits so that it could spread out and lay flat. It's fabric, so you don't have to do as many slits, but you basically have to do the same thing. Add little slits so that it folds over inside of itself and then we'll hand stitch the top. Not good enough. Go a little bit down so you guys can see. When I'm working, and now Toby moved out of his spot that I made him. But probably will be back. Okay. Bernie Davis, you and I used the foaming gorilla glue on my first pack build, and it's still holding together. That stuff is great. We used to fix shoes with it all the time at the costume shop. That's Use it with water and a tight clamp. I definitely love Gorilla Glue. They do, and no, I don't have the Gorilla Glue contact cement. You don't, can't even tell I cut my finger because it completely healed up. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down just because I feel like this is an angle I can really get in here with. Oh, 
I'm already tangled. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just like. You know why I'm so tangled? Because I didn't wax this thread. <laughs> Such a stupid, simple thing, but it makes life easier. It's the first stitch and I'm already struggling on it. Let me just... Hi, Toby. Bernie Davis is super blue. Gel is my go-to glue. Um, hanging out with Odin, my go-to glue is contact cement now. I've been using that stuff for more things than anything else. But while sewing, my favorite glue is that Eileen spray glue. I don't know where it is, I have it nearby, but that stuff because you can spray your fabric and not gunk up your sewing machine. And re-stick it too, which is the whole best part. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna be helping or hurting if I stitch. Right. You guys cannot even see what I'm getting into. Even if I go over my shoulder. Oh, I'm just gonna get it started before I try and show y'all what I'm doing. Um, Bernie Davis, I also enjoy JB Weld. What kind of projects are you welding together? That's my question. I've used that stuff before. And I can see where it's really strong and the usefulness of it. But I feel so panicked in the time frame, like the mixing the two parts. I know it's it. <laughs> I don't like two part glues. I avoid them if I can. I know it's silly and I know why they work good, but. JB Weld, is that the putty one? And then, yeah, I've used that for armature puppet. That's the last project I used JB Weld on. Because <sighs> I used two different, I used a two part epoxy and I used JB Weld on the project. That's why I'm getting those two glues mixed up. Same project, different glues, and different parts of the project. Okay. Mm. Not top super glue and baking soda is my go-to two-part glue. Yeah, because that makes a nice um, plasticky kind of material because the Baking soda is like a, I like making baking soda doughs for ornaments and other kind of fake porcelain-y things that I've, I've made that dough for weird projects because I like the way it turns out, but I like baking soda doughs because they're sparkly and they're kind of, um, they're very white looking, like, so just using the baking soda and super glue makes a lot of sense. but I haven't really needed that myself yet. All right, I need to start snipping. Okay, so as I'm snipping it together, this is getting tighter and tighter and it doesn't even wanna fold into where it's supposed to. It's biting me. So where it's starting to get really curvy, I'm just gonna do some, that's not a good angle to do it at. <laughs> just. You 
know what one of my favorite glues are, but it's like embarrassing. Hot glue. Because <laughs> it's so temporary, but it 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 always works in a pinch. Hey Toby, now you're gonna come hang out. Cool. All right. The baking soda speeds up the hardening process in the super glue, but the baking soda does sounds interesting. Yeah, it's brittle. My dad calls them the poisonous salt cookies because he found a batch that I had made thinking they were cookies and they are not cookies and it is disgusting to eat a baking soda dough. Very disgusting to eat a baking soda dough. But they make very pretty ornaments. <laughs> I definitely like experimenting with clays and doughs and things, sculpting materials like paper mache dough and like various Play-Doh recipes. I really like that I did the stay stitching before I started to attempt to sew this because it is giving me a clean fold line and my seams are all wet, matching up so nicely. I did it on the pink, but not the yellow, and I can definitely tell the difference. Sometimes just that little bit of prep work makes the biggest difference. Ha! I love it! Bid bad wolves. Oh. <laughs> Custom airbrushing and decal says, I know what you are making, but that angle, all I see is the Kering's Android body trunks. I love it because depending on what angle I'm looking at this, I get like Jetsons vibes, I get cartoon vibes, I get all these different like McDonald's french fries. Yeah, I definitely feel it. Bernie Davis, anyone ever fix anything with super glue and ramen? That is a good question because I've seen those videos. I'm curious. <laughs> Makes sense. I have done dust and super glue. Like wood dust and glue or um, I've done dusty things in glue. It's not ramen, but it's kind of the same problem you know, filler with sticky stuff to make kind of anyways. But no, I've not done ramen, but that's a good one. Ouch. Tis but a flesh wound. All right. I really want to do this on a curve, but I need <laughs> I need to see it. It's in a weird spot. Huh. <sighs> Um, I have to do it on the curve because if I do it flattened out when I go to curve it, it's going to not want it to be curved. It's going to want to be flat the other direction. <sighs> I've got this. Okay. How are you doing, Toby? You bumpy? Good. Any more studs? This is hard holding everything together at the armpits. It's okay, it's only live hand stitching. 
Thank you guys for joining me. I've almost been here an hour. It's not really a good angle to show you guys the armpits. So I'll probably do the other side, not on the live stream, just kind of do it. Um, but yeah, dang nabbit. Definitely fits together when I flatten it out. And I'm like, no, I have to sew it on the curve. It works. It's going to be much nicer. Well, thank you, Ionalith. No problem, Felicia. Glad to be here. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try doing morning, seeing if I can switch my schedule around. Bernie Davis, Toby is napping. Yes, yes he is. He's definitely much happier that I gave him a little spot near me that's comfortable. Cause the last few live streams, he's been sitting at my feet, whining at me going, come on, let's go funky. Why do we be here? Iana says, you're the best boy, Toby. He's like, I know. I like that I have the um, stay stitching there. I can also kind of gauge how to space my hand stitches based on those stitches that I'm of the line and that I'm following. So, yes. There's, there's some prep work that just makes the actual work significantly easier. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm really, really trying to get this nice and lined up perfectly at this armpit so it, because this lovely velvet shows every little wrinkle, every little mistake, and I want it to be as smooth as possible. Bernie Davis, I just bought my Corgi Millie, a new toy, a squeaky waffle from Stranger Things. Aww. I love it. Toby stopped playing with toys when we got Bruno because Bruno really, really, really is toy motivated and Toby knows that and will use that against Bruno. Like if he doesn't want Bruno sitting in my lap, he will take his toy. So Bruno runs after it and then come back and take his spot. So Toby really stopped playing with toys, but what he still will play with is um, those giant rawhide bones. Like he was dancing around with his bone today, just so happy. Yeah. Oh, Big Bad Wolf custom airbrushing and decals. My little Pepper is laying at my side watching her fellow fur baby Toby, Toby napping. Right, the napping dog channel. Toby does not watch anything on TV. He thinks I'm stupid for looking at a screen. He's like, ah, oh, she's doing that thing again. Whoa. <laughs> now he likes cuddling. Yes. 
Knock top. Are those flamingo earrings you're wearing? Yes, they match my birdie pants that I'm wearing. But yes, they are flamingos. I like finding all these different shades of pinks and reds and seeing what the camera's going to adjust them to because it, it has a very hard time picking up this shade of pink. It is very much a Barbie pink and it comes off so red. Bid Bad Wolf custom airbrushing and decals. Her favorite TV to watch are squirrels. She goes nuts for the squirrels. Toby, Bruno, and Spooky all like looking out the window. They sit there and they watch the window like it's the TV. But Toby will sit calmly. He likes watching the live streams with me and Odin because he, all those sounds, he's like knows my voice. He knows Odin's voice. He hears the power tools and gets excited about them. So said he didn't pay attention to the TV, but I think that's the one thing that I can put on for him that he like, you know, like he feels like he can comfortably lay next to. <laughs> Spooky doesn't really watch squirrels on TV. Bruno won't watch them either. I put those on for Toby before and he doesn't do that. Oh, his bird is the word. Ugh. Yes, the bird show. I'm almost done with this armpit. It is looking so nice. When I get into my groove, I absolutely love hand sewing. Getting to sit down and actually hand sewing sometimes is hard. <laughs> I don't want to sit down all the time. It's looking so nice. It's all folded in now. Can't see where I'm at because I'm right here and it's blending in because I got a good color thread that matches and it's velvet and the it's gonna look seamless to you guys. Almost there. Toby. Last little bit of armpit and I have just enough neat thread on my needle. And I've been at this for an hour, so I think this is where I'm going to call it for tonight. Also, the other armpit not on the live stream. Um, and then I think I'm going to, instead of trying to do it at nighttime, I'm going to try and do a few morning streams and see if that works out a little bit better. I may not be able to announce it quite as early, but... I'll give it a try and see if it works better. Um, ouch. Um, sorry. My wife goes nuts over the bird. Do you guys have a pet bird? That's awesome. Type. And good bad wolf. Custom airbrush and decals. When is your next duet with the Odin? Next Sunday. We've been trying an every other Sunday approach, or at least trying to do it here and there when we can. So our goal is to do it this upcoming Sunday. At the regular time. Okay. Good night, Eonolith. What time would that be? Um, probably 8 a.m. Yeah, probably 8 a.m. 
what do I put before that? And I have things possibly. So I say that now and then I can't do, it. you know what I mean? But I'm going to give it a good try and try and do um, earlier morning streams. Decals. I never should have brought up the poking fingers. Sorry. Okay. And sweet will be there Sunday. Nice. Um, morning, people. Sorry, I dropped out. Internet had a fit. Well, welcome back, Ven and Lynch. Okay. Oh, this is so nice. I really like the way this turned out. I'm going to turn on my steamer. It's not so good. So it's not going to do anything. Hold on. Let me pin this up on the mannequin and adjust it so you guys can see me pinning up on the mannequin. I can go a little higher than that. <laughs> it looks right when I'm here, but then this girl doesn't have a head, so it's hard to judge. I'm going to take off her arm, too. Let me just get this done. So I'm in a good spot to start pick her back up again. You guys can't even see the armpits, but this is the one I sewed and it's really nice. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, but it's I kind of want to add sleeves to this thing. Let me not get ahead of myself. Okay. So now I am going to support it here. All right. I gotta plug everything in. Okay. I have my steamer. My giant Rowenta steamer. I love this thing so much. Right here, ready to go. I'm going to use it to steam these collar pieces all nice. I haven't stitched the center front yet, so it's all just kind of funky looking, but I want it in the right shape. Um, Sunday, 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 see Odin and Felicia work on their EVA foam proton packs. Be there. <laughs> Thank you, Bernie Davis. I hear the steamer, it's getting hot. I'm just gonna be rustling this thing while I steam. So the tricks with steamers, if you drop them low, they <clears throat> they start um, spitting hot water. The steam likes to be as high as up as it can. So if you can keep this tube nice and long. have to hold it in place so it dries in the right spot. It's the heating and the cooling. <laughs> I know the thermodynamics of fabrics. If you, while it's hot, you press it in place and hold it where it needs to be. It's going to cool in that place much easier. But if you just let it hot and then fall down, it's going to anyway. It's heating and cooling the right way. And don't burn your fingers. Okay. So this 
secret to really making things look professional is ironing and steaming. Like on set, we will buy clothes and And when you put them on, they don't look that great. But then you sit there and you steam and you get all the wrinkles out and then they look all fresh. It looks significantly better on camera. So just taking that effort to make your material look fresh, it really does show. My, um, the clippy part of my hanger on that steamer is, um, broken and I, I just knocked it off. Okay. This is going to look so wonky because the front's not on. That dress is a Katy Perry song. You're hot and you're cold. You're yes and you're no. Yes, it very much is, isn't it? You smoosh it and you smoosh it and you smoosh it and you smoosh it. So I have the, um, the folds that I'm just making sure everything's kind of lined up on. There we go. I think this is gonna turn out really great. It's going to be very much a floating ice cream cone, like wrap. Um, the center front is going to be right about here, and it's going to be a little bit loose, and I'm going to belt it in. So that's why this fabric is hanging down and loose for the moment. It's going to be at the natural waistline where it's going to separate. Okay. that off. Bad Wolf custom airbrushing and decals. Need a steamer like that. Our new curtains are creased in all the wrong places. Yes. Oh my gosh, do I love owning a steamer. Um, Courtney bought me a, um, Courtney from Smosh way back in the day, she bought me a um, steamer that is a handheld one that uses salt and it is, I used to have it like right in my sewing machine, like my ironing stuff. Um, but it's a salt water one and that thing is dangerous and I love it. It just like blasts the hot salty water and it just decimates wrinkles. But um, I like these really big size ones. The smaller ones, they take a bit um, sometimes. Like when I've had to do like a whole room full of drapes where I've had to steam them, I've used, um, you know, those water sprayers that you do the fine mist and sometimes they use for chemicals and bugs and stuff like that, but you can use it to spray water. I will just mist <laughs> with straight up water and then as it air dries and evaporates, the wrinkles go away. So depends on how big of a project to how small of a project it depends on your steamer needs, but one of these standalone steamers. I love it. You just instantly do an outfit and you look way more put together. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate y'all being here and keeping me company while I stitch this girl together. We're getting there. She's coming together. I'm going to try doing a uh, early morning stream as opposed to a late night stream. So keep an eye open for that. If you're not subscribed with the notifications, Turn those on if you would like to join me again. Um, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here. It's been over an hour. I, I'm going to call it a night for tonight. I'm going to probably hand stitch the other arm and be in a good spot to start tomorrow. Hopefully, knock on wood. Good night, good evening, and thank you all for being here.